the life stages. My three life stages. Muhammad Shafi, the screen is yours. Thank you very much, Toastmaster of the day. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, we normally refer to the various stages of our lives as baby, toddler, adolescent, teen, adult, and elder. My life experience has shown me a somewhat different way that is based on our actions. I believe we go through three life stages, taking, struggling, and giving. Taking is where we learn, we receive, obtain, grab. Perhaps we go on to become arrogant and selfish. Some even steal and con others just to take what they want. Unfortunately, many do not go past the stage. The struggling stage is where we go through hardships to make ends meet. We work, spend, sacrifice, and, <clears throat> and uh, we never, sometimes we never go past this stage. We go through a lot of hardships, get stepped on, get stabbed in the back. The giving stage, however, is where the two previous stages have taught us what life is really about. It's all about love, happiness, tolerance, patience, giving. Now, that's not to say that we don't do the other actions in the other stages. But the names of each stage refers to the dominant actions within that stage. My taking life started when I was born on the 8th of February, 1961. I went on to learn, obtain, gather information, learn, attend school. School was a bit difficult for me though. I was barely able to manage to complete one year and move on to the next, of course, with the push and incentives from my father. He knew what I liked, the guitar. That's what you will get if you pass the final exams. I passed, got the guitar, learned how to play the music, and eventually joined the band. Now, my father had a different idea though. He had a passion for playing sports and wanted me to do the same thing, but I wasn't really into that. I did play football though at school. I was a defense. Nobody could get past me for obvious reasons. Uh, I would run towards the attackers. They would leave the ball and run away. One day we had a match with another school. They had an attacker much bigger than me. He ran towards us with the ball. I ran towards him to stop him getting closer. And neither of us were going to give in until bang, we collided. And the next thing I remember was when being revived, I had passed out. And that was the last time I played any football or any sports rather. After leaving school, I joined Babcock. And soon after that, got a scholarship to attend university in the United Kingdom. University life was good. And when I graduated, I got married. And that's when I got transitioned to the struggling stage of my life. My marriage failed. I got married again, failed again. Got married again for the third time, but this time to the right person. And now we have four wonderful and lovely children. At work, I started doing very well. Promotions, team leaderships, management uh, responsibilities. I was really doing well, but I wanted more. I wasn't patient. I wanted something to propel me even further up the management ladder. I decided to leave Babku and joined banking and eventually became head of IT in Bahrain Islamic Bank. That was not a good experience for me. I got stepped on, stabbed in the back very often. Then I decided I will go on my own, my own way. I'll be a consultant, my own boss. That was even worse. I got hit really bad. I got moved out of the way. 
I really fell down hard. For many years, I was miserable. I was depressed, blaming everyone except myself for what had happened. And then one day I woke up and I said, this can't go on any longer. I started reading books on self-healing, self-development, and how to get back on my feet again. And that's when I found the door to the giving stage of my life. I suddenly started understanding what life is all about. I started learning to be patient, accepting what has happened to me and what is happening. Forgive and forget. <clears throat> what I had learned transformed me. And to help me further, I took up photography. A child, um, a, a child, uh, a childhood hobby of mine that I had long forgotten. And now I have a new passion for food photography, but that's not helping me um, lose any weight. I have learned quite a lot during my life as a husband, father, IT professional, musician, and photographer. And I'd like to give back this knowledge to those who need it. And this is why I have joined the BITP professionals, uh, the, the BITP Toastmasters Club. I took, I struggled, and now I'm ready to give. Toastmaster of the day, back to you. Thank you very much, TM Mohammed Shafi. It was an amazing speech, but I couldn't even recognize that you are giving your eyes.